Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris. This is a special video, a first in a series which I'll be conducting with my friend Maurice Chevalier from the University of Calgary. Hey Dr. Chris, hey everybody out there. We're going to be talking about the geoscience of Star Trek. These videos are going to be based on a talk we created for the Calgary and Edmonton Comic Convention a couple years ago. Now, not everybody out there is going to know what Star Trek is or what geoscience is, so we're going to cover the very basics first. We'll have a quick look at what Star Trek is. We will do a quick overview of geoscience so that you can understand what we're talking about. Now, these videos are for entertainment and education purposes only. We acknowledge the copyright owners in everything we show. So, without further ado, here we go. So what is Star Trek and what is geoscience? Take us away, Maurice. Thanks, Chris. Star Trek is an American science fiction franchise created by Gene Roddenberry, which is comprised of five television series, one animated show, 13 feature films, and endless comic books and novels. The first series, Star Trek, now known as the original series, or TOS, debuted in 1966. It follows the adventures of James T. Kirk and the crew of the Starship Enterprise, an exploration vessel of a 23rd century interstellar United Federation of Planets. An integral part of the series was the technology of the 23rd century. To travel around the galaxy, the ship was large and went faster than the speed of light. The maximum speed of the Starship Enterprise was 512 times the speed of light, known as Warp Factor 8. Need to get from the ship to the planet? Just transport yourself using the ship's transporter. Other adventures included the short-lived Star Trek The Animated Series, which ran for two seasons. Star Trek The Next Generation, also known as TNG, debuted 18 years after the original series. Star Trek Deep Space Nine was the first foray into full season story arcs. Star Trek Voyager follows a Federation ship marooned in the Delta Quadrant located on the far side of the Milky Way galaxy. And the much underappreciated Star Trek Enterprise, which follows the early days of human interstellar travel before the United Federation of Planets. All of the television shows and movies were built upon the canon of TOS, making the characters and technology even more adventuresome, dramatic, and exciting. Thanks, Maurice. Which brings us to what is geoscience. I took a bit of creative license and translated geoscience into Klingon. My pronunciation may be off, but kapla. We're going to look at three aspects of yud -kud which is comprised of Slipton, Mendektak, Edgepak, Subkut, Yavnakut, and finally, Yavjokut. Literal translation, planet study, gas liquid solid science, ground rock science, and ground wave science. When we go back to the English translation, we have three disciplines within geoscience. Geochemistry, Geology, and Geophysics. Now, let's look at each one of these aspects. Geochemistry. Geochemistry uses the tools and principles of chemistry to explain mechanisms behind major geological systems such as Earth's crust and oceans. This discipline extends beyond our planet and helps us understand how planets are formed. Geology. Geology is the study of solid earth and the rocks of which it is comprised and the process by which they change. This too extends beyond our planet. Geophysics. Geophysics is simply the physics of the earth and its environment, which uses gravitation, magnetic fields, and seismic waves to understand structures within the earth as well as composition of the earth. Just like the previous two, geophysics extends its reach into space. To recap, Star Trek is a science fiction series that spans the past 50 years, from the original in the 1960s to the latest reimaging of today. 
geoscience, the field we're going to tie in with the series, is a field of science which deals with the physics, geology, and chemistry of Earth and the planets. In the next video, we're going to look at planetary geoscience and Star Trek. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Even better, share these videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. And I'm Maurice Chevalier. And keep rocking.